All right, guys, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and register the domain name that you have chosen and get you guys signed up for web hosting. Uh, before you start this step, make sure that I have either said that it's okay to move forward with your domain name and most obviously make sure you have your access code or your, your postcard handy. So most of you should already have purchased or bought uh, this postcard from the bookstore. Um, it should have your access code on the back. The first thing we're going to do, it is we're going to go over to Bridge web hosting and we're going to go to bridge wd.com and you will see the website now before you start registering or ordering stuff what we want to do is we want to register first so you want to hit up here in the top right hand corner and hit register if you have a google account or facebook go ahead and sign up with that if you want but i always like to fill the stuff in so just make sure you fill everything in um, once you have all your information filled in make sure you pick a password please, please write it down or make sure you're not going to forget it. Uh, that way we don't have to um, contact them and get password resets or anything like that. Or remember your security question. So I'm going to make up a password here. And then it's obviously going to make sure that it's strong. We're going to select the security question. I'm going to go with what was your high school mascot. It's going to be a, a panther. Perfect. And then obviously make sure that you check I am not a robot. Once you are done filling everything in, go ahead and click register. This will create your account. Now I actually already have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Once your account is created, you will have a dashboard. And in this dashboard, you'll see you'll have services, domain names, tickets, invoices. Uh, if you already have a hosting package, if you've taken IS-140A, you might already have an account on there. Uh, if not, it's OK. Um, we're going to go ahead and order now. So what we want to do first is we're going to go over to order new services right here on this shortcut you could also go to services and then order hosting but since we're already here we'll just go ahead and hit order new services now you're going to want to look scroll all the way to the bottom and there's going to be a product called student web hosting we are going to go ahead and select that but before you select order now we're going to make sure we select annually so we want the annually so we want a full year of it and then we hit order now right once we select the web hosting so it's going to say the product or service you have chosen requires a domain name please enter your domain name below we're going to leave the first option selected i want bridge web hosting to register a new domain name for me it is really important that the information you registered with that your email address is correct because that is the information you will need to verify your domain name that is also the information that will be used to register your domain name so for this make sure you have already your domain name that has been approved if you do pick something that's not appropriate uh, we're going to ask you to register another one and you're going to have to buy another another packet another code so I would typically choose nongarcia.com. I already own that domain name. So I'm going to pick from 
my company and for a lot of the demos that we'll be picking that we'll be working with I went up to Fluence Web I already own Fluence Web Mar Marketing FluenceMarketing.com and Fluence is a name I've been playing around with for a while so I'm gonna go have and have my domain name FluenceWeb.com we're gonna click continue and it is available this will also check if it's available or not uh, obviously when you submitted yours you've already checked that it's available but if for any reason it got registered between the time you checked and now you're gonna have to pick another one once I notice it's available I'm gonna hit the order now and here we're gonna leave it at one year so we're gonna hit click continue after that Our student web hosting it has the following configuration options we gotta make sure again that this is set to annually and then we're gonna go ahead and add it to cart for your domain name you're gonna want to get all the free stuff the DNS management email forwarding and the ID protection and the ID protection comes in really handy because it's all the information is made public once you register a domain name and this will help keep your information private that way you don't get any spam or any solicitations we're going to go ahead and update our cart perfect so now you should see your order summary you should have hosting student web hosting and the domain name to it next to it and it should come out to 4740 right and then domain registration one year with the ID protection, it should come up to 2193, right? You gotta make sure that we have the one year web hosting and the one year domain name. If you choose any different variations like six months web hosting or two year domain name, your, pro your coupon code will not work. Okay, so lastly, we're gonna go ahead and add our promotional code. So you're gonna find this code on the back of your postcard. Mine happens to be MT68X9. I would type it in in all caps um, just to make sure there's no issues. Once you type it in, we're gonna hit and click validate code. And you're gonna see that it's gonna give you a discount of 100%. So make sure that your total due today is zero dollars. You should not have to pay anything. Uh, if for some reason it doesn't give you zero dollars, it's probably because you either have the wrong product or the wrong length of time, or you might not have a .com domain. So just go back, either hit remove or configure extras, and you'll get that, get that sorted out. So we're gonna go hit and select checkout. Perfect, and it's just gonna give us a checkout page right here on the domain registration information it's gonna use the information above so one last time just make sure that your email is correct that this is the information you want to use to register that domain name and under payment method we're just gonna go ahead and select uh, either cash or check in mail payment any of those will process the order uh, since it's already been paid for so I'm just going to select cash and I'm going to go ahead and hit complete order and within a few minutes um, everything should be set up and ready to go. So it's running the order right now and then you should get an order confirmation and once you have that it's pretty much you're set to go. And that is my email. You should be receiving some emails. We'll go over those in a little bit. All right, guys. So these are the emails that you should be receiving. Um, I would archive all of them. The most important one you want to take a look at is this new account information email. If we open up this email, you'll notice that you'll have all the information that's uh, pertaining to your server. Most importantly, your cPanel username and your cPanel password uh, also the control panel URL uh, and for your server information your server IP address 
and most importantly your name servers make sure to keep note of these name servers as we're going to have to switch them out so your next assignment is going to be to actually point your domain name to your server and we're going to go over a few ways of doing that you also have a temporary ftp host name temporary web page url and all the email settings are down here perfect 